Despite efforts by government and private agencies, our air is still filled with emissions, industrial contaminants, and other toxic pollutants that can threaten our health. But what many of us don't realize is that the poor indoor air quality in many of our homes, workplaces, and schools is just as hazardous. There are so many health risks associated with poor indoor air quality. Everything ranging from asthma, allergies, to neurological problems. The main concern is toxic mold. I mean, there's a lot of other contaminants. I mean, there's formaldehyde, there's dust, which you know, is, isn't as bad as formaldehyde, but the, the main one that I tend to see is toxic mold. According to the EPA, toxic mold can be found almost anywhere as long as moisture, oxygen, and a food source are present and virtually grows on any substance. As a result, serious toxic mold problems can be very expensive to correct. We've done some work uh, on mold remediations that exceed $100,000, so typically it can be very, uh, on average, very expensive. Then the building materials itself that the mold has grown on has to be physically removed, increases the cost. Also, the more area of mold, the more costly it's going to be. Insurance companies are not paying for it. So it's, it would behoove you to really catch these problems early on before it becomes a major problem. Many indoor air quality experts believe that a proactive approach is the key to avoiding sick building syndrome and the high costs associated with repairing the problem. One of the newest technologies is a monitoring and management, or M&M program, implemented by Quality Air Environmental that utilizes a combination of technologies designed to detect and identify any potential environmental hazards and maintain healthy, clean air. What we are doing now is installing these air quality monitors to actually monitor the air 24-7 and doing regular uh, air quality testing. Uh, we will come into a property uh, a few times a year and uh, check the, uh, the air quality as far as uh, where the monitors are placed testing the air and making sure that there is no problem. At South Shore Naturopathic Center in Long Island, New York, the staff and visitors are breathing a little more easily since they implemented the system in their facility. Because of the system, I feel more financially secure. You know, it will tell me immediately when there's a mold problem, so to, to fix that problem will not cost as much money if the system was in place. Also, I'm not going to miss work because I'm sick because of mold. So that, in a way, saves me money. I mean, it's a really high incidence of asthma that's associated with mold. There's something like 4.6 million people that have asthma because of mold, and the money that they spend on their health care per year is something like 3.5 billion. And this is really all comes back to mold. So if every place had this system in, we would save money in terms of the economy. I see a lot of new building construction uh, renovations um, are using building materials that are mold proof. Uh, we actually do some work like that. We install mold proof uh, wall board, uh, coatings on different uh, building materials that actually prevent uh, the growth of mold on these materials. Allergies, chronic sinus problems, respiratory distress. If you've experienced some of these symptoms, you may be at risk of mold or other environmental hazards lurking in your home or office. Quality Air Environmental, or QAE of Long Island, New York, can help identify any potential threats and provide the right solution for clean indoor air. We install monitors that monitor the air 24-7 uh, for conditions conducive to uh, mold and bacterial problems. We also include regular air testing, which will hopefully show no problems, but should there be a problem, we'll catch it on very early, uh, circumventing any major problem that may happen had you not have the program in place. Specialists at Quality Air Environmental believe in a proactive rather than a reactive approach to solving today's growing mold problem. You want to do regular checkups in your building, your home. Uh, and catch a potential problem before it becomes too late. We're really, really happy and we feel very secure having these kind of things in the home so that we can ensure that we're breathing very, very clean air. Today, indoor air quality is widely recognized as an essential element to green building, the practice of sustainable building construction and design. 
Quality Air Environmental is proud to partner with the Indoor Air Quality Association and the United States Green Building Council. The Indoor Air Quality Association is a very respected organization that I'm proud to be a part of. Um, they keep you updated in the newest technology, educational uh, progress, different certifications, um, and they're a big part of the air quality industry. Uh, they have functions throughout the United States, uh, uh, local chapters throughout the United States, as well as U.S. Green Building uh, Council, which we are also a member of. New York State has recently proposed a health law ensuring all public buildings have an indoor air quality monitoring and management program similar to QAE's current system. This law will help prevent all this litigation from happening because now the building owners are forced to address indoor air quality issues and must have a program in place to manage their indoor air quality in their buildings. If you suspect you have mold or would like to have an environmental inspection, call Quality Air Environmental or visit them online at qaenvironmental.com.